we've come to the Grand Californian Hotel to give me a little bit quieter spot so I can tell you a little bit about the Disney Play app. All you have to do is go to either the Google Play Store or the Apple Store and download the app. If you do a search for Disney Play app, it'll come right up, it's free, download it, as soon as you get there, you can log in with your Disneyland login information and it knows exactly who you are. Once you get closer to the park, it's going to ask whether you want to go into California Adventure or Disneyland. We chose Disneyland. That was the park that we decided to use the app in. And as soon as we went inside, it showed the main screen with all of the information about the lands and where you could find different things to play. So these are the things that you can choose from. There are symbols, stars, different shapes, different things that you can choose from, and every shape tells you or gives you a different opportunity to play. If you have more than one person with you in your group that you're going to want to play the games with, at this point, once you're in the park, you're want to, going to want to go into player management. This is where I was able to add Bill to my app so that Bill and I could both play the games inside my app together. As you can see, Bill has been added in as one of the players along with me. You can see when you view the main map that there are different stars and symbols that are going to allow you to pick different things to play throughout the park. The first place we're gonna head is Adventureland. Adventureland has trivia. As you can see, there are 10 questions that you can answer as you are standing in line, it's really fun to answer trivia, ask questions back and forth, and as soon as you get through all of the questions, you earn points and achievements. By answering all of the questions, we were able to earn 200 points. Next, we headed over to Peter Pan. Peter Pan has this really awesome ship symbol that you can click on, and the thing that's so amazing about it is it gives you tons of games to play because the Peter Pan line is always really long. Because Peter Pan has such a long wait, there are extra games and extra things for the kids to play. You can see jokes. Peter Pan will tell you a joke. You can play games. There's trivia. There's all types of things. For example, one of the jokes that Peter Pan has is, how did Peter Pan offer the Lost Boys their treehouse home? And the answer is, he said, take it or leaf it. Another joke that he had is, how can you tell if a clock is hungry? It'll go back four seconds. <laughs> so Peter Pan is really fun. There are all kinds of adventures and all kinds of things that you can do while you're waiting in line for Peter Pan. And then if you have your app open as soon as you enter the line and have your app open as soon as you leave the ride, you earn an achievement. There are certain rides where you can earn achievements, which is really fun for the kids to earn because then at the end of the day, they can look back and see all of the achievements they've earned. Big Thunder Mountain is where we headed next, and that is another ride where as long as you have your app open when you're walking through the gates to go into the ride, and then have your app open as soon as you're leaving, you earn an achievement. The screen comes up and it says, are you ready to collect your achievement? You click OK, and the achievement goes into your history and is saved for you. At the end of the day, you go to your achievements page and you can see everything that you have finished and everything that you've achieved. The other thing that's really fun about it is then your kids get to see what they still have left to earn. The idea that they can go on and they can look and see what achievements are still left to be earned gives them something to look forward to the next time you go to Disneyland. I really think this play app was a really great idea. While we were standing here by the gate filming, we've probably helped 20 to 30 people in and out of the gate because for whatever reason they can't seem to do it on their own. So I'm really not sure how people get in and out of the pool without us here. They should pay us to stand here <laughs> and assist people. <laughs> the play app is so amazing. I think Disney really hit a home run with this idea. It gives parents and children something really fun that they can do while they're waiting in lines, while they're walking through all of the different lands. And it's really fun for the kids to be able to earn achievements as they go and have sort of a reward at the end of the day to see all of the fun things that they did. It's a really great memory for them to remember the rides they went on, the games they played, and the fun times they had with their friends and family. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned a little bit about the Disney Play app and I hope that you will download it the next time you go to Disneyland and give it a try. It gives you something to do while you're waiting in line, especially if it's a long, hot line on a hot day. 
Don't forget to smash the thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe.